paradise and today's video is owning rats on a budget in this video I'm going to give you cheap ways of owning rats and buying supplies for them also give you everything added up and monthly costs for those less fortunate this is for you the first thing I want to get across is you don't have to be rich to own rats yes owning rats can be very expensive but only if you buy everything brand new they can come to such a high price you may even find them a little too expensive for your liking everything adds up like the basic supplies, like the cage, bedding, food bowl, water bottle, food, shoes, toys, added essentials and some money aside for vet trips. And also if you want to need to a rat, that does come at a high price. Most rat keeping will cost from 150 to 200 pounds if not on a budget. However, if on a budget, will save you loads more. You can get a lot more for so much less. Now I have done a video on all rat essentials into a ton of detail so if you want to know about the essentials rats need, then I highly suggest you watch that first. You'll find that this video makes a lot more sense after you've watched that video. So click here to see rat essentials. There are many less fortunate people out there who like to own rats, but don't have a lot of money and think they can't afford to have them or own them. Kids in particular are the ones who are always looking for pets, and there will be those who want rats. They obviously won't be old enough to have a job and earn money. But there are a few money maker solutions for kids and also people who are less fortunate, like allowance from parents by doing chores at home but not all parents give money to the kids so selling personal things can come in handy instead if you're 16 then you're old enough to babysit which will make you some money also a great money maker tip is to do some entrepreneuring and have your own website where you can sell things from and make lots of money or you can help refurbish products from retailers and you can also get money from there so my job today is to help those out there who are less fortunate I'm going to give my best tips and ideas to help solve this problem and bring solutions so you can own rats on a budget. The first thing you will need is a cage. Now this is the most expensive supply of all, especially if you're buying the cage brand new. I'm just going to quickly go through a few basic cage rules. So the cage should be 80 by 50 by 60 centimetres, which is the absolute minimum size for rats. But if you're having more than two rats, then I highly advise going much bigger than this. You should have two cubic feet per how many rats you have. The bar spacing must be half an inch to prevent your rats from escaping and I highly suggest when buying the cage you look for the large size cages which offer them ground space, enough space for basic supplies and height space for them to climb. And yes this will come at a high price. You can buy cages brand new or you can go second hand and get a good condition cage but for a much cheaper price and this can be a great option for getting a cage when you're on a budget. You most likely end up spending from 80 to 170 pounds on the cage. Or for the last cheap option, you can make a DIY cage and use CNC grids. These are great because you can make them however big and tall you want and they're great priced too. Just make sure you mesh all over the holes because they are too big spacing for rats. This also goes for any ferret and bird cages over the size of half an inch with bar spacing. As for types of cage, you can buy rat cages or you can get ferret and bird cages. All make great cages as long as they meet the cage conditions. Next you'll need bedding. Now stay away from pine, cedar, wood shavings, sawdust and any scented types and ones like corn cob bedding as these all have toxins which can easily irritate rats respiratory systems and they're dusty which will also cause breathing problems and some can leave lung scarring so avoid all these. You also won't want to buy any care fresh not just because most are highly dusty but because they're very expensive they can cost six pounds and to spend that much every week is way out of your budget. Also same goes for Back to Nature, it too is very expensive and costs around £6.50 so again it's just too much to spend every week. For some cheap bedding options you can use fleece. You can buy these from most local shops, they cost from £1 to £6 which is quite a cheap price considering that's going to last you a while. It depends if you have chewers though. Or for your next option you can use shredded paper from your house so you get this for free but make sure it's not dusty and it's soy safe ink. And even aspen shavings can be good and are fairly cheap. They cost around £2 which you can buy from most local pet shops and websites. As for sleeping materials, you can use fleece. Any unused fabrics or soft materials you have in your house, so this would be free. And lastly, you can use something as simple as tissue paper or toilet roll, which pretty much everyone has in the house. So that's something you can just get from the bathroom, rip it up and give it to your rats as a nice snuggly bedding. Now if you're not so keen on the hygienic side of things, you can always buy some fresh tissue paper from the shops instead, which are fairly cheap um, and they cost around £2. Next you will need food. Now when buying food, this is something you should never bargain for as getting cheap food will often have bad quality ingredients, too high in sugars or not enough nutritional balance needs for rats. 
So you should always get the most expensive food when picking a mix um, for a good quality type. This should consist of food mix and pellets and this usually costs around £5 for both pellets and food mix. Or you can make a homemade wrap mix but these actually tend to be quite expensive and cheap so try to save a bit more when it comes to food. I do have a video all about a rat's diet so if you want to find out a whole lot more into the food and the diet then click on the link to find out more. So then you'll need a food bowl. You can get food bowls at the cheapest price from any local pound shops for about a pound. Ceramic is best as it's chew proof so your rats can't chew up the bowl and it will last. Along with that you'll need a water bottle. Now glass is best as again it's chew proof which you want for your rats. It needs to be drip proof so you don't waste any water and it must be a large size as rats drink lots of water and you can buy them from pet shops and the large size bottles usually cost around £11 or you can get them cheaper if you search on second hand websites like eBay. Next you'll need a hideout. Most brand new hideouts are quite expensive however the one good place to get a hideout from at a great price is from a website called ratrations.co.uk. They have extra large Sputniks for only £5 which is a brilliant bargain and I highly recommend you buy one of them. Or for completely free options you can use pretty much anything flip it over and cut some holes in it and then you end up with a hideout. This can be anything like laundry baskets, pillowcases, cardboard boxes, wooden wine boxes, cereal boxes and so much more. And most people will have these types of things in their house so you can get them for free. Or if your local food shop has a recycling area then there should be tons of cardboard boxes which you can just pick from and again these are free. Hammocks are always great to have for rats and you can easily make them out of any old fabrics or soft materials you have so you have a free hammock. Next are chews. You can get chews from most pet shops at a cheap price around two to three pounds or you can get the really hard thick cardboard tubes. Make sure these are really hard so it does keep their teeth down if you have them in your house then you have a free option of chew. You will need toys. There are many fun and different free options of toys you can use. You can use things like cardboard boxes, Pringle tunnels, cereal boxes, wine racks, wine boxes. You can use any long fabrics to twist into a long bridge. Kitchen roll tubes which they can chew and roll on and tons more. I'm sure you have other free toy suggestions of your own but they're just a few to help you out. You can cut some holes in them and they make lovely toys for rats but the best part is they're free and what better than free? Lastly for cleaning essentials, for pet disinfectant you can make a vinegar and water solution which should be 50% vinegar and 50% water. So you've made a free pet disinfectant. As for spot cleaning, you can use tissue paper or loo roll from your bathroom to wipe the cage areas with, along with your free pet disinfectant. As for dustpan and brush, the cheapest place to buy these are from any pound shops at only a pound. For plastic bags, you can get these from local food shops for around a pound. And for towels, if you have any old unused clean towels in your house, then you have a free drying supply. If you use fleece, then a washing machine is needed and you'll most likely have this in your house, so that's free. For play area, the cheapest options you have are either an empty room, empty bathtub or empty bathroom. So this is free and your rats get playtime in there. Or if your parents are not so keen on your rats being in either of those, then you can buy some cheap boards from secondhand websites like eBay and buy some binder clips and attach those all together to make a play pen. You will need a carrier. The cheapest option of carrier you can use is a cardboard box with loads of holes in so it's ventilated and they can breathe well. Just make sure you supervise them at all times so they can't chew their way out. Now for optional budget essentials, you can give them some treats. Now buying treats can be very expensive, so for the cheapest ways you can use fresh vegetables or you can even dehydrate a few if you have a dehydrator on your home or you can make a few homemade treats. These are much cheaper options instead of buying treats and they're also much healthier too as they're not filled with preservative colorants and sugars. Just make sure any vegetables you use are safe for a litter tray, the cheapest place to get them is from pound shops for only a pound. As for litter, it can be expensive, usually around £6 for Back to Nature. Um, I also recommend Care Fresh Litter Plus and Fresh News, but it's definitely worth the extra money and it will keep your cage much cleaner if your rats are litter trained. As for the price of everything added up, it would cost around £120, and that includes the cage, so in the schemes of things, that's very good. Considering if you were to buy everything brand new and you were off the budget, you'd be spending around £170, which is a lot. As for monthly pay, this includes bedding, sleeping bedding, food and pet disinfectant. For the bedding, if you use fleece, then monthly that would be free. And sleeping material, again if you use fleece, that would be free. As for food, including food mix and pellets, it should cost around £12 each month. 
but that does depend on how many rats you have. The pet disinfectant would be free if you use a vinegar and water solution. And lastly, if you do decide to buy a litter, then for monthly that would be around £19, but again, it does depend on how many rats you have. So the total monthly price would be just over £30, which is not too bad. If you were off the budget and spent everything brand new, your monthly pay would be up to around £80 or more. So the budget really has cut the price. So I will quickly include the neutering side. You don't have to neuter your rats, it's definitely your personal decision whether you want to put your rats through that. But I would say if you are on a budget, then I don't recommend neutering as that can be very expensive and definitely way out of your budget. It can cost from 30 to 70 pounds. So that's a lot to put on top of your budget, which you don't really want. So now I will include the rats themselves. I didn't include them under the budget because they do range from different prices. Usually from breeders and pet shops, they can cost from eight to 30 pounds. But I highly recommend you adopt as there are so many rats in need of homes and there are too many that often end up in rescues. So when you're out there buying some rats, there could be some in a cage waiting to be picked and taken to a loving home. Adopting a pair of rats can cost around the same price, but you are adopting which is even better and you're giving them a second chance of life which anyone should feel proud of and it's definitely worth your money. Try looking in your local rescue shelters nearby you or you can find various rescue sites. For UK, I'll just put a couple on the screen such as Pets for Homes, RSPCA.org, Small Pets Matter and loads more. And as for US and Canada, there are a few like Kijiji.com, Adoptapet.com, Petfinder.com and a few others. So please don't shop and adopt. But if you have no rescues near you, then shopping may be your only hope and that is okay. And that's everything. That's the whole budget. So I hope it helps people realise that you don't have to have loads of money to own rats. That giving them a few simple cheap options like these is enough and can make them just as happy. I really hope this has helped anyone out there who is low on money and perhaps you can now consider this as a great option and for you may be able to afford and own rats after all. So remember, rats aren't that expensive when you put your mind to it. A budget is just what you need. So that's the video. I hope it helped many rat lovers out there or for those who just want to learn more about rats. If you did enjoy the video, then leave your feedback below and don't forget to hit that like button as it really shows support and helps me for future videos and maybe even share with your friends to help others. And we'll see you in my next one. Bye.